Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Peterborough. Sunday night is hockey night, and we've got a Planet Ice NIHL National Division fixture between the Waldeck Peterborough Phantoms and our friends from down the road, the Milton Keynes Lightning. And of course, last night, MKL got the home victory, the Phantoms' third defeat of the season, and uh, they'll be looking for revenge on what has been themed as Halloween Fright Night. I have to say, Alan, I've not seen, or I don't recall seeing, in a game here on a hill. No, it's not Phantoms a name. break. Slakowski almost looked like he was in uh, plenty of space. Chance. Oh, it stopped. The G, uh, G Block thought it was in. To successfully clear their line. Good pressure, aggressive play. And uh, Duncan Spears with a nice touch there. Glenn Billing. Yes! Goal! Spears with the opener for the Phantoms. Great combination on the board by Spears and Glenn Billing. Billing gets through the smallest of margins. Puck comes out to Duncan Spears, who rattles it into the cage past Jordan Headley. 1 0 to the good guys. Other teams are, of course, available. But from a position of relative, not weakness, but the Phantoms were under pressure. They were having difficulty clearing the zone, but it wasn't in the net. So that's Tim Wallace who swipes it round and uh, MK have responded brilliantly to conceding first. What a goal! Nag shoots screen in front of uh, uh, in front of Jordan Marr. MKL made that look like a power play. They were putting all the pressure. And look at that traffic in front of yeah. uh, in front of Jordan Marr. Be interesting to see if the player low down got a touch on it. Nags fires it in. But Jordan Marr wouldn't have been able to see a thing on that. Smooth as you like. Norton gets in his way and holds up that foray from the visitors. And the Phantoms break. They've got players over. Billing. Oh, yes! It's the go-ahead goal for the Phantoms! Number two, Tom Norton! It's taken a billing! Shapes the pass, goes for the shot, and... Uh, so Headley makes the initial save. Think Tom, it's Norton with the goal. Tom Norton's Johnny on the spot to poke home the loose puck. Even strength goal. Slakowski then doing some defensive work. Robson. Big chance here for the Lightning. Goal! There's the leveller! What a finish by, uh, well, uh, David Sarkanis. Yeah, I think it was. So, some things are worth waiting for by the looks of things. And an absolute snipe of a finish from the uh, from the uh, MK import. So we await official confirmation of scorers, assists, and times. Headley's uh, back in position now. What a game! Talbot, still Talbot. Goal! 3-2 to the Lightning! Crazy, crazy 4-on-4 four four hockey. Something like a minute and 22 seconds have seen three goals. Two unanswered goals by the Milton Keynes Lightning. See the visitors take the lead for the first time. Great play, what a game to watch. So um, brave D by the Phantoms guys, throwing himself in front of that, but Talbot lifts it over him. Oh, chance! Nathan Pollard! Pollard! Yes! yes! Pollard with the goal for the Phantoms! 
So the goal timed on 22.33. No doubt to Pollard afforded the freedom of the city of Peaceborough goes 5 0 through Jordan Headley. And the Phantoms are back on level terms. Let's see if they've got the resolve to keep MK off the board in the next few moments. Good interplay uh, from the MK front line. And it's out of the zone. Great play. Glenn Billing picks it up. Oh! Headley flashes leather. Slykowski is the point man. McEwen does well. McEwen does really well. Chance. Goal! Bowery with the power play marker. Phantoms take the lead. So let's take a look at the replay. So the cross eyes pass from McEwen to Bowering. Bowering rattles it past Jordan Headley, who's been light out in this period. And the Phantoms with two unanswered goals restore their lead. Phantoms fans banging their drums up. Oh, Looked like Slikowski thought he'd got it. He has at the second bite of the cherry, loses it and bowering needs. And that's, and that's oh, Norris goes. Tilt, bowering and Norris. A couple of bombs from both of them. Bowering at uh, Bowering had chipped the puck into the MK uh, bench. Norris unhappy and uh, Norris on points. I'm wondering if Norris thought that Bowering had chipped that over into the uh, into the MK bench deliberately. So Bowering puts it out. Norris goes into the back of uh, Brad Bowering and uh, takes exception to Bowering's response. If I'm honest with you folks at home, I think uh, Norris invited that one, but stood up for his team. This is the uh, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth penalty of the game. Phantoms uh, just, oh, chance, goal, power play, finish for Milton Keynes. 16 seconds of that power play have uh, gone in the book. Um, trailing in on the hash marks, fired in. Gets his pass picked and uh, it should come back to Booglas. So just interesting, isn't it? That Booglas is playing on the halfway line. Norton, the D man behind him, but Booglas is a uh, enterprising and forward thinking chance for Norton. So, well, that's. Well, do you know what? I thought that had been taken from Headley. The whistle had gone. That's not going to be a goal. It is a goal. Betsy Balfour's called it. Headley is absolutely well, incensed. Got to be honest with you, viewers at home. I thought I can see on the replay that well, it was uh, the the puck looks as though it was up against the pad, but not in anywhere, anywhere else. Right. And the, the netminder does have to have control of the puck. It does have to be covered. Slung in by this, Norton. Headley drops one. You can see the puck loops. The puck is loose. Um, discussions are ongoing. Chamberlain's not happy. Christie's not well, happy. Well done the bench who scored. <laughs> Phantoms have got four skaters on the ice and all four of them were behind their own red line. Great play. That's so well done with a uh, burst of speed. No penalty. Oh, good stuff from Edley once more. Short-handed Phantoms doing well. They have to get back. That's a good shift, but uh, MK come again and there's still 
53 seconds of the power play on the clock. Again, I don't know what they put in Weldon's water bottle, but I want some of that as well. Chance here. Yes! Oh, and goal for the Phantoms! So Duncan Spears with a shorty. So a lovely cross arse pass. Headley's pulled all over the place and Spears is on the back post for a relatively simple tap-in. There was question and controversy about the fourth goal. No question about that one. Yeah, I mean, I, I would go Headley. Um, McEwen there. Chance here. Lukas Slikowski. Still Slikowski. Oh, it's a fantastic finish! Lukas Slikowski on races. Jordan Headley. Phantoms have a three-goal lead. An absolutely filthy goal from Sladkowski there. If that was any dirt, it would be wrapped in, in brown paper and kept on the top shelf. Phantoms 7, MKL 4. And you get the feeling that Sladkowski is going to become a real fan favourite here at, uh, at, at, uh, at Bretton Way. Good work from uh, the home side. Last five seconds of the game. And uh, there you go, put it in the book. Phantoms 7, Milton Kings 4. And that hoodoo of the Phantoms scoring and getting the lead against the Milton Kings Lightning only to be hauled back is, uh, is broken.